Hi there. In this video, I will show you an awesome feature if you are a Visual Studio Code user and also use Git as a version control. If we haven't met before, my name is Tuomo and on this channel I upload videos and tutorials about modern web development. Like many other web developers, I use Visual Studio Code as my code editor and Git as a version control for my web development projects. A couple of weeks ago, I wrote a blog post about best Visual Studio Code extensions in 2020. And in that post I mentioned GitLens as one of my favorite extensions. This was mostly because I use Git and I need to see a Git commit history or changes made for a given file. And Visual Studio Code itself doesn't offer a good tool for that. Well, not until recently, because in March 2020 update they announced that a timeline feature was out of preview and enabled as default for everyone using Visual Studio Code. So what timeline is? It is basically a unified view for visualizing time series events, such as file saves, test runs or git commits. So basically you can select the source for the timeline, for example git commits, and when you have a file open you get a nice view of commits that made changes to that file. Let me show you. Okay, so here I have a project open in the Visual Studio Code and this actually is the Faker.js project that enables you to generate dummy data for your JavaScript applications. I wrote a blog post about this a while back. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check that out. But for now, let's open up a file here. I'll just take, for example, the index.js file. And on the left hand side, we can see there is the timeline title. If we click that open, we can see that it opens up a list of commits that were introduced for this file. And if we click a commit open, we can see a diff view opening up and it displays all the additions and removals that were introduced in this specific commit for this specific file. So here we can see that uh, some code was added on the file and nothing was removed. And if we want to check, check out another commit, we can just browse the list and open up a new one. Here we can see that there are some modifications made here and that's pretty much it for this file. But yeah, I really love this uh, deep view that opens up because it's uh, right away clear what was added and what was removed from, from that file in that commit and Best thing is that you can use it in the Visual Studio Code. You don't have to open up a different software for diffing the file. And to be honest, lately I've been using this uh, timeline and this deep view a whole lot because, well, I just happened to have a few tasks that needed some backtracking that which features were added in which comic. This was a quick video about the timeline feature for Visual Studio Code. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you are not already. See you in the next one.